Hello, today we're going to be going over how to make yourself invincible in Terraria. So the first thing you're going to have to do is download this program called Cheat Engine. Currently, Cheat Engine's version is 6.6. .6. It doesn't really matter which version you use, but at the moment we're just going to click this download link here and go through the installation process. After installing Cheat Engine, you're going to open up Cheat Engine and then open up Terraria. And you can see I have them laid out both here. And within the Cheat Engine program, you can see there's this icon with a little magnifying glass and the computer in the background. This will allow us to basically edit the memory of the process we choose. So we're going to choose Terraria. Let's click OK. And now that we are currently looking at the memory that Terraria is running on. We're going to begin a game, choose a character in the world. And we're going to take note of our current health value. So it's currently set at 55. So what we're going to do in this value field over here is type 55, hit first scan. And this will show us all the memory within Terraria that has a value of 55. We want to do this so that we can eventually set that address's value to whatever we want our health to be set to. So we're going to have to narrow down the addresses. To do this, we're going to go ahead and take some damage. We could also heal too, um, whichever comes first. So we took some damage, we have 32 health. So let's go back to Cheat Engine, type in 32. And don't hit new scan, hit next scan. So this will scan based on what we found before. So we have two values set to 32. Let's just be careful and get hit one more time. Now our health is 19. You can see the value updated here to 19 and the previous was 32. So this is our health. So you can go ahead and double click that and give it a description, health. And now we can go ahead and change this to just say full health. You can see it updates up here, but every time we get hurt, we don't want to go ahead and update. So to get around this, what we can do is right click. And what we're going to do is find out what writes to this address. Hit yes. And now we're basically just going to listen for whatever instruction writes to that current address, which is our health. So whatever sets the health basically. So you can see this came up right here. This is the x86 assembly instruction set for how our health was set. What we're gonna do is click replace and we're just gonna say damage. Doesn't matter what you type here. This is just a name for yourself. But what's gonna happen is this instruction set is gonna be replaced with a bunch of code that does nothing. So basically we won't take any damage. So let's go back to the game and see if this worked. If we can get hit. Come here, buddy. There we go. You can see we're not taking any damage. But this still doesn't solve the problem of drowning. So let me find some water first and show you how to get around this. Okay, so we finally found our water. We're gonna go ahead and begin the drowning process. So now that we've run out of bubbles, you can see we're taking damage and this new instruction set popped up over here tells you how many times it was called. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and double click this just to kind of show what's going on there. And we're just gonna click replace again. We could just call this drowning. Okay. And now that that has been replaced, we can go ahead and test this out. So let's go back over to this little pond over here and begin drowning. So you can see that we're being swarmed by uh, a bunch of little blobs and uh, we are currently out of bubbles but we're not taking any damage so we successfully neglected any damage that could be taken in the game thus making yourself invincible so that about wraps it up for this video if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for me go ahead and leave it down in the description below i appreciate your views and have a good one